Santiago, there's one, bare hand throw to first, safe. Santiago got it to Kozar with a bare hand. Zach got caught it and fired. Not in time to get Vasquez. Brian Price will walk slowly out. If you watch Kozart here, I think he is thinking that Santiago is going to tag the runner and then go to first. And Kozart got to the bag, lost his momentum just for a bit. Boy, he's out. He at the back part of the bag instead of the front. And Brian Price will challenge this. He had that slow walk out there. I think he's going to be out. If he hits the front half of the bag, which is what you're taught, he's safe. But the stride took him over the front part of the bag. He hit the back part of the bag. It just gives you that extra split second. He's lunging. Doesn't quite get the foot down in time. As I hang with him, you are out, pal. And that ball is in the back of the glove. It appeared right there is what they tell you. That is the ruling. We'll see how they see it in New York. That's what counts. And the call on the field. Call on the field was out. So what the Reds are looking for here is an overturn. Oh, the call on the field was safe. I'm sorry. The call on the field was safe. So the Reds are looking for an overturn here. In other words, clear and convincing evidence that the call on the field was incorrect. That's what the Reds are looking for. Back of the glove, you see the ball. That foot's still in the air. Well, if the call stands, it'll be a runner on with one out. If the call is overturned. The base is clear two out. You get Jerry Meals, who made the call over there at first. And you have the second base and the uh, second base umpire. Pardon me, the first base umpire, Jordan Baker. It's Baker who made the call. Pardon me, it was Meals who made the call. <laughs> and the second base umpire, Paul Emmel. He's out. And they overturn it and call him out.